are you doing? Here comes Amber Lynn. Oh, girl. Easily, I have lost over a thousand pounds. Proud of myself. Hello, everyone. Today, we are taking a look at another one of our Goral's iconic personalities. I'd recommend not eating while watching this video, LOL. Here comes Chef Lynn. Cook me, cook, uh, let's redo that. Cook with me videos have been highly requested. I'm lazy, I'm not a cook. I say this in every video, I don't like cooking. I'm just a messy broad in the kitchen. So this is one of the things that I like to make. It's not healthy whatsoever but it's a multi-grain scoop chip inside of it is a dollop of spicy ranch and on top of it is a combination pizza roll and it looks weird but it tastes so so good trust me on that one i don't know what the f that was i absolutely love carrots Yes, my hands are clean. <laughs> you sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? So with these, you can cook them, obviously not for your salad, but they're also pretty good raw. You can cut the mushroom if you want, or just leave it whole. I don't mind it being whole. I'm gonna be adding some of the almonds. A serving, a serving is 28 of them. We added the olives and now the dressing. This goes a long way, so you don't need much. Scallion, green onion, always makes things taste so much better and so much more beautiful. So a salad is complete. This is on a different level. Dang, it's a salad. Something so simple to create, and she somehow managed to make it look absolutely horrendous. There's no way she enjoyed eating that. Hey guys, tonight for dinner, I'm just gonna make some of these shrimp. They're already peeled, deveined, tail off. They're extra small and get skinny AF. <laughs> and they're already cooked. So I'm literally just gonna put them in a pan with the tiniest bit of water. I don't use oil to cook. No oil. Uh, I actually use water, which is a healthier alternative quinoa with corn and black beans so literally it's microwavable I'm like oh <laughs> 200 calories that is not bad at all so all I put in here is water obviously you can use um, oil <laughs> but I prefer water and I don't really cook shrimp so I already got the kind that was already cooked shrimp I know a lot of people also put butter when they cook shrimp but I'm not really into that I don't like butter so much so I don't use butters or anything like that. I actually use water. This is just the easier way to do it. Nothing special. There it is. This is the full bag of the quinoa. And I put some sriracha on the shrimp. I love sriracha. I love spicy. I'm kind of nervous to try this. I'm going to be honest. Let's do this. Yes! And the shrimp too. Shrimp. This is a good dinner. I should film a mukbang, but I'm not. Thank, Thank you. you. You just know that all tasted watery AF. If you're gonna be 500 plus pounds, at least eat some good food, LOL. Everything she makes seriously looks so unappetizing. I don't know how she does it. If you guys ever need to learn how to make a sandwich, just watch this video, full, for, full tutorial. What I really wanna be doing right now, is ordering takeout. Okay, this is gross. I know a lot of people don't like mayonnaise, so I apologize. Just adds a little bit of flavor. Buffalo style chicken breast. So I hope this is good. I mean, it looks good. I don't see why it wouldn't be. You know what, I'm gonna try a little piece of this. I don't like it. <laughs> That's a no for me. 
Oh god. Ew. Oh no. Ew. Ew. I have to toss it. I can't. So that did not go as expected. Oh god, that tasted so well. That is a, like one of the grossest things I've ever tasted. It literally tasted like poison. Chemicals. It tasted like straight up chemicals. So gross. Oh my god. I hate that I had to just waste food and I'm sorry, but I wouldn't have wanted to give that to anyone because it did just taste like chemicals. Ew. truly makes a sandwich is bacon. Heck to the yes. Sandwiches are so low calorie. The bread is where the calories are at. Mm. She good. It's good. It's really, really good. Mm. I get not liking the meat and tossing it, but the whole sandwich? That was such a waste for no reason. Reminds me of when she threw away that whole laughing cow cheese because one was missing. We've been known you ate it pookie. I'm making something my mother used to make for me. Spaghetti, scallion, a little bit of crispy bacon. This is already cooked, thank God. <laughs> a little bit of soy sauce and some egg. I remember the first time my mom ever made it, I was just a peewee little squirt way down here. I was really tiny. I was thin and every time she'd ask, okay, what do you guys want for dinner? I'd always say grandma's recipe because that's what she calls it because it was her grandma's recipe. Okay, I know this might be weird, but who wants to join me in the traditional spaghetti throw? If this, monkey, no. <laughs> if this sticks on the wall, it's done. I know it's done, but let's see if it still works. <gasps> there it is. That is too funny. When I cook, I make a mess. Look it. We saw that over there, that over there. It's just, I haven't even put this away. I don't like when cold foods are out for too long. It's just, it creeps me out. I'm just a messy broad in the kitchen. Pasta. I don't put any butter or oil on my pasta, so it kind of sticks. A is next. Bacon, soy sauce, gotta be careful. Don't wanna put too much. This is my favorite part of the whole meal. Topping it off with some scallion. And to me, this is one of my favorite meals. What does she have against oil and butter? Is that really where she draws the line on calories? Delusional thinking, but besides that, that meal was something else. This next one is somehow even worse. I am craving pizza like you have never known. I don't even like pizza. So I decided to make a healthier version of a pizza. Yes, it's not real pizza, but I know it's gonna taste just as good because I've done something like this before. So it's a whole wheat tortilla. The sauce is ketchup and salsa and Mrs. Dash. <laughs> And you only use a little bit of ketchup to kind of give more of a tomato-y taste. And why I use salsa is because salsa is all natural and it's delicious. And I actually like it more than tomato paste. Meat is just some ground, lean, natural turkey. And the cheeses is just a little bit of a fat-free or low fat, one of the two, I'm not sure which one, Mexican cheese and some feta cheese. You know this is gonna be absolutely delicious. Oh, and don't forget, of course I added pepper in the ground turkey and pepper in the zucchini. I am obsessed with black pepper, that's how I do. That's just horrible. I'd rather eat that salad we started this video with, and that's saying a lot. Someone tell her that there are these things called recipes out there. They're pretty helpful. Sharpening a knife my way. <laughs> Anyways, she's gonna cut this for me because I don't want to be touching that. Like, I don't know, it kind of creeps me out. So just cutting down the middle. That is really gross. So, get a girlfriend who will cut you spam. Thank you, babe. Yum. So as I was adding the spam, 
I realized, why did I put oil in it? I don't use oil to cook. No oil. I'm an idiot. I didn't add any seasoning, so it is complete. These are all the ingredients I'm gonna be using for this soup. This stuff, obviously, I'm gonna add first because this is what is gonna take the longest to cook. Looks good, it hasn't even cooked yet. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna add is the frozen right here. And then after I add this, I'm gonna wait a little bit, add the corn, add this, this, and that. Because this will become kind of soggy, so you wanna add that last. And it is finished, so I'm gonna dish myself some. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Okay, that one actually makes me feel disgusted. I don't think you could pay me to eat something made by the Amberlynn Reed. Her taste buds need to be studied. This is just my favorite way of having broccoli. So obviously I cut her and I like to cut off the stems because texture reasons. Sometimes I can handle it and sometimes I can't. And today I kind of just wanted to enjoy what I was eating. So instead of using oil, I simply just use water because broccoli is easily cooked in water and who needs extra calories, am I right? So I like some soy sauce and some sriracha. And then I just let it boil and cook and do its thing. I stir it around, obviously. And honestly, this is so freaking good. It reminds me kind of like a Chinese food broccoli style situation. We're gonna make a cauliflower fried rice. <laughs> the onion, however much you think you need, garlic add however much you want so now you're gonna take your cauliflower and mince it up and I know this is supposed to be rice but I still want it to be bigger chunked and then you're gonna add your egg since my corn and my peas were frozen I did add that in next before the egg carrots are now added with it this is the first time I've ever made this, so I'm just experimenting. Literally over here laughing. This does not look like cauliflower rice. I did add two eggs. I feel like I should have just added one. Um, I decided not to use salt. The soy sauce, this is where it's gonna be most of the flavor. Um, sriracha. Okay, so after it's been cooking for a little while, it's almost done, you're gonna add your green onion. I love green onion, that's what makes everything. So good. So the dish is complete. I'm making like a chicken, cream of chicken type of thing. And we're gonna put it over some brown rice. Okay. Chicken up in there. I love having a crock pot. It's great to have your food cooking while you're doing other things around the house. You don't have to pay attention. So I'm just gonna add I'm gonna see how one of these looks. Italian. Minced garlic. Garlic and herb. Mrs. Dash. This looks disgusting. So Becky should be home soon and I wanted to have dinner ready for her. So I'm just making some mushrooms to go with the chicken and the brown rice is going pretty well. That's almost done. I made enough so we have uh, leftovers, but I love mushrooms because when you cook them, you don't need oil, you don't need butter. It's just, they already have water that just like comes out of them when you cook them. So, so here is dinner. I did not make enough mushrooms, but oh well. It smells super good and it tastes really good. How would you feel coming home to that meal? Sadly, that's one of the better ones she has made so far in my opinion. And it's still not great. I guess if this was the stuff I was capable of making, I'd be door dashing every meal too. To make some chili and I wanted to show you guys everything that I'm gonna put in it. So Becky is gonna help me. She's gonna be the little recorder. So I'm gonna show you everything you need for this. Again, everyone's chili is different. 
I like to wing things. That's how I've always been. Chili mix, obviously. Chicken broth, low sodium. Ground turkey instead of hamburger. I have two dark kidney beans. One black bean. 100% tomato juice. Diced tomatoes. Big chunks of onion. So it's easier for Becky to take out. Some mushroom, some zucchini, cumin, and we're gonna use cayenne pepper. I will show you the final product when this is all finished. So this is how the chili is going. There is a lot more onion than I thought. I haven't had onion in a while because Becky does not like onion, so I don't cook with it, but she's like, you know what, baby? You can cook with it. I'm like, cool, thanks. <laughs> so there it is, finished. Looks super good. Becky picked out some of her onions, gave them to me, as you can tell, but there we go. I'm going to be cooking some chili. Can you just do that? It is a little loud, but that's okay. <laughs> Ooh, your hands smell like onion. Uh, I hate when my hands smell like onion. We are an onion family around these parts. Oh, wait, my eyes. Beans, human beans, tomato sauce, and juice, chicken broth. This just adds a little bit of really good flavor in my opinion. Some diced tomatoes. And then the chili packet. And then I just like to add more seasonings if it needs it, like cayenne pepper, cumin, whatever it may be really. And already, folks, I have added more chicken broth. <laughs> Please. It's not even normal how good it is. I did that. I did that. She is always hyping up her chili and says, everyone just loves it. I need to see someone else recreate it and report back because I am insanely skeptical and too afraid to try LOL. I know people like to make fun of me for my soups, so I figured this was a perfect time because I haven't made a soup and I can't tell you how long, so I figured this was perfect opportunity to do a cook with me video. I have no idea what I am doing. I am just winging it. So just a little warning, I will be doing a lot of sitting because I am having some mobility issues due to my weight. Over 500 pounds is gonna be happening. Add the ground meat. That sounds so gross. I don't use oils. I use water. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. Pepper. I like a lot of pepper because I like spice. Garlic powder. Woohoo! I love garlic. Taco seasoning. Onion. This is barely a cup of corn. So we're going to add that. Beans. The salsa is going to come in. You're gonna add however much to your liking. Spinach gets small, so you don't have to cut it, nothing. That's gonna welt down a lot. Welt down. I'm just gonna let it cook and kind of love into each other for about 10 minutes. Doesn't that look delicious? Here we go. I wanna do a little bit of everything. Spinach, meat, corn, broth, beans, onion, and the salsa's floating around in there. Look at that spinach hanging off. I love spinach like this in soups, it's so good. Even though it's taco seasoning, and I try to do kind of like a taco flair, it reminds me of like a chili, kind of. So good. One of the best soups <laughs> I've ever made before. Yuck. I bet that looks the same coming out as it did going in. Let's end this video on the most iconic cook with me video Ambi has posted. I'm gonna make fresh salmon for the first time ever. And I'm a little nervous. So I'm gonna set the oven. So put it on there. I'm sure everyone knows how to make salmon. It's like probably not that difficult. Ham spray. 
for my seasonings. Garlic salt. We're gonna do some pepper. And probably some onion powder. The beautiful salmon. Look at that. It's a honker. So I'm gonna spray this. We do not want it to stick. I also do not want to touch the salmon. Um, and there's skin on the bottom, so I'm kind of like weirded out. Do you guys see it? <laughs> okay. I love pepper. Bam. Ta-da. Like super seasoned stuff. Kind of like gently pat it in, if you will. Tiny. Like that. Because I want it to get golden. Golden. <laughs> I like my meat really dry. You guys. Look. Completed. So. juicy as it's supposed to be. I was so excited. I took a bite without vlogging. Um, wow. It's like buttery or something. I'm so confused. I didn't even add butter. But I don't like butter so much. You guys, make the salmon just how I made it. Your life will never be the same.